Oh. Right. <clears throat> How's it going, Pumpkinheads? My name is Skellington Steve, and welcome back to The Land After Time Reborn. So, as you can see, my thaumatorium has undergone some renovations. Uh, I now have a bunch of alchemical furnaces and alembics all hooked up to different alchemical constructs with the crucible underneath them in case I need to make things. I have officially mined out every type of shard and taught my transmutation table how to make them which is fantastic, so I'll never run out. Uh, also, oh, glad that my vision cleared up finally. Uh, I may have been spending a bit too much time in this lab doing research, but it was worth it because I finally know what I need to do to finish my lab so that way we can we can speed along the process of uh, creating the dinosaur park and such um sorry that if I'm if I'm out of it I could probably use a little bit of sleep I'm gonna I'm gonna try to Try to go sleep. As you can see, I've I've moved some things, and it's a it's a little bit it's a little bit emptier than. Oh, good! I can't I can't even sleep. Why don't I just take care of that? Oh, right. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've made a staff, and, uh, in my, in my workshop, in my lab, I have, uh, <clears throat> I have created, oh, boy, I created a crafting scepter to make it to where I can craft things a lot easier. Uh, before we go off and start doing the things I need to do for my, for my lab, let's, I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the park so far. So I have the entrance area pretty much figured out. Looks nice. Got bins. I got my flower picture where I'm going to go creative mode real quick. I mean, it kind of looks like the original symbol from the first park that I had on the the water gateway, which is which is nice. And I have I have little street lamps, and no matter I'm, I think I'm gonna have to hire a a, a, a groundskeeper to uh, to keep this place from getting out of hand because. No matter how many times I cut these down, they always seem to come back. So, we of course have our Brachiosaurus, which has gotten huge. And I feel bad for having them in this, in this area. But, you know, they're, they're, they like it. And they got food. And then there's this the pachycephalosaurus who apparently is uh tr is trying to headbutt the wall or s i'm not sure what their what their deal is but <clears throat> that's what we've got accomplished for the park so far and i think it's pretty cool that we are that we've we've gotten two attractions so far that people can come and view but you know it it's still a work in progress uh also i've went ahead and 
uh, finished. I've upgraded my uh, infusion area. I kind of I built a wall and put paving stones of warding around the outside of it because when I'm in here doing things that needs I that needs to get picked up from a thing that I did. Uh, when I'm in here doing things, I don't want creepers or zombies or skeletons or anything of that nature to come wandering in here or spawning in here and making my life miserable while I'm trying to accomplish arcane things. So... Making my making my lab better and upgrading it so that we can uh, we can do we can do cool things. So <clears throat> what we're gonna need is a special item called the primordial pearl. Now you may have remembered that I found something like that back in the hubris world. Or was that me? I don't remember if that. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, basically, the primordial pearl is a small bauble that it is said to contain pri the essence of primordial magics as we know it. The only way to get to it is to travel to the Eldritch Plains called the Outer Lands. And the only way to get to the Outer Lands is by performing this ritual, the opening of the eye. So what we need to do is first off, we need to make three more of these or try to go find some eldritch guardians or wait until they find me i would prefer to just go ahead and make make three more of these but and then what we need to do is go find one of those eldritch obelisks where the uh cultists like to hang out and channel their dark energies and whatnot from and we place four of these eldritch eyes on the keystone in the center and it opens the portal through the sinister node once I channel Vs through it which I'm gonna have to restrain myself from using all of this and then once we do that we can go through the portal into the outlands and then we'll be able to find the boss that we need to kill in order to get the primordial pearl. So that's where we are on that. So, luckily, I have all of these things set up here because what I'm going to need is I am going to need to make some void seeds. So, to make void seed, actually, I think I have a couple of void seeds in the house from wandering around trying to find a, uh, a specific, I, I, I was looking for a book, and uh, I found it, and let me tell you, that, that was a, that was a doozy, it was a doozy of a read uh, anyway all right let's see we got one void seed um, we got one void seed we got two void seeds so in all actuality we just need to make one more and then we'll have what we need to uh, to start making more Eldritch Eyes. So, to make a Void Seed, we need two Alienists, eight Tenebrae, and eight Vacuos. And we need to toss a seed in there. 
So, uh, let's get a seed first. Uh, I believe Ender Pearls work well for Alienus. Uh, Vacuos, an empty bucket. Not a ducket, a bucket. Uh, how about a chest? That that works a little bit better. How many? How much tenebrae did I need again? Or vacuos? Just just eight. Okay. So I don't need all of this. How much alienist did I need? Two. Okay. So one ender pearl, two chests. And then I need Tenebrae. I need something that represents darkness. Uh, Obsidian? Has one Tenebrae in it. Why not? Alright. So. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed you guys how this works. But let's... Uh, I'll go through it again real quick. So, you pop the item in here. It shows you what you can make with that item. And then, you go ahead and you toss things into the furnaces for them to create, or for them to use the uh, aspects for. And... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to clear out some room also I just noticed something um, there anyway uh I have some warded Jar, some more jars in here, right? Ah, there we go. Actually, I just need... I don't have anything that has Ignis in it. Never mind. I'll just... Oop, I put him back. Okay. Sorry. Like I said, I've been sitting at that desk for actual days now. And it's, it's affected me. So, uh, Arbor, get that out of there, get Precantatio out of there, and get Eider? Eider, yes, Eider. Get that out of there. All right, so we'll throw the Obsidian in here. get it melted down and uh, we'll get the once once it's all emptied out and everything's in its proper place we will we'll clear that all out so Ignis need the tenebrae need the alienist Terra all right so once we have all the aspects that it's gonna need in here, we just right click and click that and tell it to start making. And it will start dragging the aspects from the other pieces, from the other uh, Alembics and put it in here. Sometimes I think the works get gummed up a bit. Uh, where? Okay, and I need to uh, I need to fix it. Uh, I don't know why that happens. There we go. We got a new tube. 
And just in case, let's, where's, where's my, ah, there's my good pickaxe. We'll uh, have this so that we can break it again if it, there we go. Yeah, see the works get gummed up a bit and I gotta, I gotta replace pipes. But then bam, once it gets what it needs, it pops out what I, what I need. Pretty cool, right? So. Now that we have three void seeds, we need th three eyes of ender and three gold ingots. Not oxy daisies. Three eyes of ender. Three gold ingots. Okay, now we also need all of this. We need Tenebrae, Vacuos, Eider, and Alienus. So, Ender Pearls are good for Alienus and Eider. So at four each, let's just let's just grab them and see what we get. Uh, actually, hold on, math. I have things that do math, so I can do the math. Sixty-four divided by four. We need a stack of ender pearls. Cool. And then we'll have more than enough eider, more eider than we need. Luckily, I already have a jar for Eider, so I can just throw that in there. We will also need... Ugh. We will also need... Tenebrae and Vacuos. So, we'll need more Obsidian which we will need 16 of it, I believe. That's what it said. Yeah, 16, 16 tenebrae, so we'll need 16 obsidian. And then vacuos. I was, yeah. Uh, we need four chests. All right. So, let's start burning these down. Uh, ah, there, there, there we go. Eider, Arbor, Precantatio. I'm going to need to get some more jars. So, glass, two, three, four, five, six, and slabs. I think I'll have enough to make two stacks of, or two things of jars. Glass pane, oak slabs, water jar. Yeah, that should be good. All right, so burn and burn and burn. So we'll wait for those to burn. In the meantime, I could probably use some more sleep. Wouldn't wouldn't kill me. Or it might, you never know. Oh, <sighs> well, I'm feeling a little better, actually. Not gonna lie. It probably helps to uh, 
to get some sleep after doing nothing but researching. Also, mm, hold on. This is this is probably still yeah okay. So I I can I can uh, show you something that I had to I had to make for my own personal safety, and that was that was this. I made a sanity checker. Uh, this thing lets me know when my uh, when my warp is getting a little too high. And as you can see, my warp is pretty, pretty darn high. So, I'm going to need to do something about that at some point. Otherwise, I'm going to go crazy. And uh, that's not good for business if I go crazy. Luckily, I found out that I can get rid of warp using... Purifying bath salts in an arcane spa with sanitizing soap. So, eventually I will make myself a, uh, a spa where I can, I can, uh, make myself not go crazy. So. Uh. Let's see. All right. Um, let's go ahead and clear out the eider. And we need the tenebrae. But we also need to get the terra and the ignis out of there. Need the tenebrae. Need the eider. Don't need the ignis. Uh, we need the vacuos. Boom. Got all that. No, we need that. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of the arbor. I have way too much, way too much arbor. There, way too much of that. Cause I've actually started making. Uh, making this work so I, I I have a lot of this so um, to explain some some things you may notice there are some other tabs in my thalmanomicon uh, my initial plan for what I wanted to do here required a couple more mods than I had so I had to go add a couple of mods to this list so now I'm able to make these, which will allow me to do the thing that I wanted to do with the making infusions easier and whatnot. At, where'd it go? Oh, it's over here now. All right, so 64 Alienist, 16 Tenebrae, way more than enough Eider and Vacuos. Let's, let's, oh crap, I'm going to need to do that more than once. Well, that just dawned on me. Oh well. Let's let's go. Let's do this real quick, and then I'll make the other ones off camera because I'm pretty sure we're about out of time. So we need a void seed up top. Yeah, we need gold ingot at bottom. Yeah, we need a ender eye right. Yeah. And then we need to place the four thingies in a symmetrical area around this. So the most, and then we'll do the, the least, the second least, and then the second most. And then Alakazam. Hopefully I have this all set up to where I won't have a lot of uh, a lot of negative feedback 
because I've I've done the research. So I'm just a hoping. I'm just a hoping and a praying that I don't create flux or get zapped. Jeez, that's taking a while. Then again, it is draining out that entire thing. Oh, shat. Why'd that happen? That was weird. We did it! We made one! Cool, so now we have two. And apparently they don't stack. Awesome! So... That is, uh... That's what I've been doing lately. Oh good, I've, I've caught a bit of the flux flu. Lovely. So... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and uh, I will get more of these made and then next time we will we'll take a journey we're gonna we're gonna go on a on a crazy little trip let me tell you guys and uh, I think also off camera what I might do is uh, make my spa because I I'm definitely gonna need I'm going to need to de crazify if I'm going to go into the place of eldritch whispers and evil nonsense. So, for right now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a member of the Pumpkin Patch today. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later.